hello welcome back to this tutorial series you already know that how to create a class now in this video we will talk about how to create an instance variable or a class variable and how to create a instance method or a class method so without wasting time let's jump into the coding section as you can see that here we have a project and to create a new class you have to add it and now this time we will click here so if you'll click uh, in the class then you have to give the name of the class so at this point of time i want to create a class which is having the name animal then after that i have to add it and it will take some time and it will add the basic skeleton of our class now you can see that this is our class and in the previous video we already discussed about the keyword internal final um, and this class so at this point of time we don't want this internal and final keyword for our class and now inside this class we will create the instance variable or class variable so here we will declare first instance variable or class variable so as you can see that we have taken one string variable and one integer variable but in real world project you should use the edt instead of this primitive data type okay you can create edt with the name uh, this particular name and you can create one another edt using uh, this age name which is having the base data type integer and the name it should have the base data type it will be the str so if you want to create the edt you can do that one so but at this point of time we will not use edt we will use the uh, primitive data type only here so by this two line whenever we are uh, declaring one variable like this that is nothing but a class variable or instance variable and you can declare as many as you want if it is required for this particular animal class now we will write some code for the class method now here we will write some code for the method so to create a method we have to uh, give the keyword public this is nothing but a access modifier or access specifier then we have to give the uh, return type and then we have to give the name of the method the name of the method is make sound and a method can be parameterized or non-parameterized so if you want to uh, uh, want a parameterized method then you have to pass the parameter inside these two bracket but at this point of time we don't want any parameter so when we will discuss method in detail then there we will discuss how many types of methods are there okay for example instance method static method we will discuss about all these things in the separate video but in this video our agenda is how we can create method and we can declare variable i will just show that one okay so this is the basic skeleton first you have to specify the access specifier public or protected and private so you can change it to the public protected and private also you can change the return type uh, to void from void to integer if this particular method will return something then you can change the return type based on the data type which we have in our x plus plus programming language and after that this is the user defined identifier so you can give any name over here okay and you have to mention these two first bracket and then inside this second bracket inside this is kind of we can say it this is a block of code and inside it you can write any number of line so based on the requirement of this particular method and at this point of time for learning purpose i am just printing one information here so what this particular method will do this method will uh, print a message the animal makes a sound now i will show you how you can access this particular class and method um, from the outside of this particular class so for that we will make a runnable class 
so to uh, create a runnable class you just create a new item and from the code section here you just select runnable class and give the name so i have just given the name access animal class here and after that you have to add it okay so when you will add a runnable class by default you will get this main method and using from this main method you have to create a particular object of animal class okay so how we can create the object of this animal class so create or to create an object you have to give the type you have to give the type so type means you have to specify here animal and then you have to give the name of the object obj and after that you have to mention the new keyword so new keyword what it will do it will create an object so to create an object we have to use a new keyword otherwise your object creation will not be possible so after that you have to again give your name of the class animal and you have to specify here you have to give the first bracket close you have to close it and this is now this obj is nothing but a object of an animal class so using this object we can access each and every class variable which is present here also we can by using this obj we can access each and every method which is having in this particular animal class so now we'll access this one and this one and also we'll access this make sound method to access the name where we specify object obj the and if we'll give the dot then you and if we'll type in a me name here you have to specify a name here like this okay and you have to give the semicolon like this and if you want to access the obj and the age variable then you can access it like this and if you want to access the make sound method which is present here so for that to access this one what you have to do you have to specify obj dot and then you have to specify the name of your method and after that you can give the semicolon here at this point of time if you will save it you can see that you will get some error invalid token semicolon here so at this point of time if you want to access this name and age it will not get any value here to initialize the value of uh, this particular instance variable name and age here we should create the constructor in ideal case but at this point of time we will not talk about the uh, constructor in the later video uh, you can see the concept of constructor but at this point of time here we will we'll initialize the name with value dog and also we will specify the value age equals to 5 okay as this is an integer value so that's why we are initializing with the integer value and now if you want to print this particular name you have to use the info okay so inside the info you just mention str fmt and after that you just give the quotations and all the required thing to print this particular name also do the same thing for the age now when we are trying to print this name variable and age variable you can easily see that it is throwing a error that field obj no name is protected and only can be referenced from within the inheritance hierarchy in which it is declared same wise you can see also for the age it is also saying that the age is protected and only be referred from within the inheritance hierarchy in which it is declared so we are not creating inheritance here and it is not uh, giving the permission to access this particular um, variable here because by default you can see that we have not mentioned any access specifier here so what is access specifier by default if you will not declare a variable as a public it will be by default protected so that's why if you want to access this particular two variable so it will be asking for that it is not using the inheritance you cannot access it so if you want to access this particular name and age from the outside of this class so you have to 
specify the access specifier or access modifier so if we will give the public here directly also for this one then you can if you will save it you will be able to see this two particular error will be gone and you can see zero error is there and if you will go to this runnable class and if you want to access it now it's possible so i'll just remove all the comments which is having in the above section and after that just make this particular access animal class as a startup object and try to run it then you will be able to see the output here now you can see if that our program executed and easily you can see that uh, when we are trying to access this particular age variable name variable it is giving nothing but a uh, uh, empty string because by default the value of a string is nothing but a empty string and the age is integer so that's why it is returning the zero value because by default the value for the age will be zero and also when you are calling the make sound uh, method then it is printing the name the animal makes a sound okay but what is the problem here we are trying to uh, printing out the name and age but if you will do like this you will not be able to get the result because when we are initializing value in this method make sound method it is not initializing the value of the name and the age variable to initialize the name and age variable you can use different approach that you can use the constructor and you can pass the value to the constructor or other way you can directly keep the value default value here so now i will give the default value here and i will show you how you can get the value from here so for that i will stop the execution process and i will stop it okay and if you will print this two variable in this particular method after the initialization and if we'll paste it over here and this time you don't have to mention the obj here because we are inside the same class that is why no need to mention over here like this but here you can mention it this the dot name and you can also mention that this dot age so this keyword is what is what does this keyword will do this keyword is nothing but this is a object or instance uh, of this particular animal class so whenever we will mention this dot age means it will initialize the value of this instance variable and whenever we will give the this dot age equals to 5 it will initialize the instance variable age here and now if you will print then you will be able to see the output and to make the difference between this two line and this inside this make method i can write inside method i can mention here inside method okay and then i can save it and if at this point of time if we will try to access then we will see some output for age and name so again we will click the start button <coughs> now we can see that the program is executed now we'll explain what is actually happening okay so you will go to this particular uh, anime access method and i'll explain it so you can see that in the first line it is creating the object and we are trying to access the obj um, name and obj age so when we will try to access this time it will directly go to this class and try to find out the value of the name and the value of the age but still we have not initialized uh, because this method is not executed so that's why that's why the we will get the empty value okay so that's why we are getting the value uh, of the name as a empty string and zero for the integer but after that we are accessing the obj make sound method like this and at this point of time it is having the value because we initialize the value of the age name and age by this two line so it is initializing the value of name and age dog and five so 
when we are trying to access the name and age after this particular line then we will be able to see the output of this name and age so that's why you can see the name and you can see that it is showing that inside method dog and inside method 5 is there and after that at the end of the call it is printing out this particular value so what uh, if you want to access at the time of object creation either you can directly um, use the constructor or there is another way you if you call this particular method first and then if you want to try to print it out after this call you will be able to see the result for this two particular line because first we have to initialize the value of the instance variable then only uh, we can uh, access the value so if you want to if you will change this particular line in the above section and if we'll call obj make sound method then the first what will happen this will initialize the value of the instance variable and after that you can access the name and, and name and the age variable so if we'll run it then you can see the result now you can see that our program executed and if you'll expand it then you will be able to see the output here so if we'll go to the below section at the end of the result then you can see that whenever we are accessing that particular object and we are trying to access the make sound method it is initiated the value initialize the value of the name and age and that's why you can see inside method uh, dog is there and inside method it is printing the age 5 and after that it is printing the the animal make sound because it is present in the info and after that if you are trying to access the object name object dot name name and the age that means it is the class variable then you can see the output dog and five here so i hope now it's clear how we can declare how we can declare class variable or instance variable or how can we how can we uh, write the method and how we can initialize the value through method and also how we can access it and also how you can access or create the object from outside of the class and how to access one particular method which is uh, don't have any parameter and also are you able to understand that how you can access a class variable through the object <clears throat> in the later point of this tutorial series i'll show you how you can access one particular class within the same class so for that reason so if you want to access uh, from the same class then we have to write the main method to access this particular animal class inside this class so you have to write the main method and you have to create object of this animal class and you can access from that main method itself no need to create the access animal class so but remember that we are initializing through make sound method and one particular method here but this is not best practice for initializing object there is a standard for shared process to initialize the a standard class variable or member variable so for that you should use the constructor so in this next video we will create constructor how you can initialize the class variable through constructor we will show you so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next one